Hey guys, it's time for the question of the week. And today's question comes from one of our YouTube subscribers. And it is, does the pull twin flame ever think about the push twin flame? And this is a really good question. And a lot of our students come into our programs um, asking this very question. And I will get to it in, once, in just a minute. But first, I wanted to remind you that we have a very special package we put together, um, and it's called the Twin Flames Exposed Package. It includes a copy of my best-selling book, Twin Flames Exposed. It's the very first book I ever wrote. Um, and the, the thing, writing that book just started me on this whole path. It was the first step of, of this purpose path of purpose that just opened up and revealed itself to me. And that was the first, very first step. And it reveals the most common myths um, about twin flames. And it's very important that we dispel these myths because 99% of the information out there about twin flames is misinformation. And, um, you know, and it's just, it's just misconstrued. And so um, it's very important that you clear that out, that you you get clarity on those things, believe it or not, before you can even embark on working on your own journey. Because um, clearing out the bullshit is um, clearing out, um, it's making a level playing field, so to speak. It's clearing out, you know, the fear-based energy that um, you already have and harbor in within yourself about um, the twin flame and the twin flame journey. So this package includes that book. It also includes five um, workbooks to work through to help you clear your mind and to clear out all of this uh, fear-based energy out of your mind. And um, it also includes five exclusive videos available nowhere else. Um, so if you're interested in that, definitely click the link below this video. It is available there. We also have our um, coaching call, one-off coaching calls available now. And they're, they're awesome. They will provide you with complete clarity. You speak with someone who knows exactly what you're going through. And, can, and there's no better way to... Um, you know, advance along this journey than to have one-on-one -on -one support and one-on-one -on -one guidance and one-on-one -on -one help. And you can get it now in a one-off call. So you can click the link below the video for that as well. Okay, so um, to the question of the week, uh, does the pull twin flame ever think about the push twin flame? Um, I just want to preface this with, uh, you know, this should not be your point of concern. It's irrelevant. It's always irrelevant what the pull twin flame is doing, saying, thinking, feeling, as that is all obviously physical world stuff. And we cannot approach this journey from the physical world um, point of reference. Um, so, you know, wondering and thinking about what the twin flame is doing, saying, thinking, feeling, and if they're thinking about you or whatever is feeding your fear-based push energy. Um, because it is focusing on the physical form of the twin flame. So uh, we really don't want to go here, but once and for all, I will answer this question because it is a common one. And I get before you start working on the energy and balancing out your fear-based push energy, it is a common question. And nothing wrong with that, rightfully so. I had the same question. <laughs> um, and so uh, having said that, the answer is yes, of course. Of course they, um, they still think about the push twin flame. Um, you know, they were there too. <laughs> they, they had, they experienced, you know, the best relating experience of their life as well. They, um, they are your energy. So as your fear-based energy built up the push, the theirs did right along with it. It is yours as well. Um, you share it, it's your pull energy. And so the buildup was the same for that. And then during that buildup is that part of like that honeymoon period with the twin flame when, you know, you were like two magnets, you were just so attracted to each other physically you, you know, you felt like you were so comfortable with your twin flame and, you know, they knew you better than anyone else. Like they knew you forever. And, um, you know, you just had, had like the most easiest, um, amazing relating experience with them than you've ever had with anyone else. And I don't have to go into detail there. Anyone who's on this journey knows that. Um, and it's just that, that feeling you had that, you know, you were just so magnetically drawn to this, to this, this person who is actually not another person, but your same soul, but you didn't know that. And, you know, the twin flame, the pull twin flame, of course, felt all of that as well. It was real for them, just like it was real for you. And so, of course, they will think about it. Um, you know, they're humans. They have minds. <laughs> they do think. Um, but remember, just like with you, it's not about the thoughts. It's all about the push energy entwined in the thoughts and beyond, behind those thoughts. It's all about that energy, the push. Um, 
you know, it, it's the same thing with the twin flame. It's not about what they're doing, saying, thinking, feeling. It's about the pull energy um, entwined in that. And so that pull energy, as long as your push energy is involved with um, focusing on anything the twin flame is doing, saying, thinking, feeling, your pull energy is also going to be involved in anything the twin flame is doing, saying, thinking, feeling. And so that means that um, as long as the pull energy is involved, the twin flame physically can't do anything about the thoughts they have about you or the feelings, you know, and they can't make actions towards you. They can't move physically in your direction. Um, you know, in, in half, in most of the instances. Now, of course, there's two dynamics here. There's a dynamic where um, twin flames are stuck in a back and forth push-pull relating pattern where it can span years and you know, decades and the twin flame is in and out of, the pull twin flame is in and out of the push twin flame's physical life and stuff. And, um, you know, that's just another dynamic of how the fear-based energies push-pull plays out. The twin flame could either be totally blocked from you and, you know, just can't physically get to you. Um, or, you know, you can be stuck in that back and forth push pull relating cycle, which is generally for the long people that were, have been in this twin flame journey for a longer period of time, so tend to find themselves in, in that kind of a back and forth relating pattern. But whichever pattern you are is perfect for you and it's, it's your journey and, um, you know, both are very common and none's better than the other <laughs> or worse than the other. And, um, you know, it's even, you know, in the push pull one, you know, obviously it goes through cycles where, you know, the twin flame, the pull twin flame pulls away and, you know, is blocked from, you know, getting physically to the twin flame. But in both, in any dynamic of that, either of those dynamics, um, no matter what's going on, the pull twin flame has thoughts, you know, um, they're, they're a human being. They have a mind, just like you have a mind. They have thoughts. Um, they have feelings. They have, they, you know, would take action towards you if that energy wasn't pushing slash pulling them away, right? So that's why it's so important if you want to have any kind of physical relating experience with your twin flame to balance out the push-pull energy. And it only takes one twin flame to do this because it's the same energy. So, you know, you're most likely watching this. You're the push twin flame. If you ask this question, obviously, you know you're the push twin flame. So um, it's very important that you learn how to balance out that push energy. So um, that is really what's going on here. It's all about the energy. It's not about what's going on in the physical world. Stop paying attention to that. And stop really wondering if they're thinking about you. They're human. Of course, they're thinking about you. You know, they didn't just get amnesia. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, which I know, I know it's, it's heartbreaking to think if they are, did they feel what I felt? Did, you know, did, were they there? I know, you know, I, I thought at the time, I was like, I mean, did I just imagine all of that? Um, obviously, I didn't. I was on the floor shattered for six months. But, you know, I mean, why, how could someone just not, just forget about it and move on, right? And they don't. They don't. The only reason physically they're not there is because of the push-pull fear-based energy. And that is it. So just cut through all of the bullshit, all of the window dressing, all of the, the physical world stuff. Get straight to that energy. Learn how to balance it out. Learn how to work with it. And um, physically, you can come together and maintain a, a totally fearless, because it has to be that way, Fear, because pushable energy is fear, right? So you, if you balance it out and you no longer have it, it's fearless, which is true love. Love is fearlessness. Love and fear cannot coexist. And you can actually have that kind of a relationship with your twin flame. So I hope this helps answer that question. Thank you very much for submitting it. Guys, please continue to submit your questions to us. I will get to them in a future video, I promise. And again, I want to remind you, if you if you want to learn any more about Twin Flames, you're just learning about them, definitely click the link for the um, Twin Flames Exposed package we have below this video. If you want one-on-one um, -on -one help and support and guidance for where you are right now on your journey, click the link. Schedule a coaching session. We have one-off coaching sessions. And then we can, and if you really want help, actually, learning how, like, day to day, how to work with and balance out this push, pull fear based energy that I'm talking about, which is all that matters on this journey. Click the link, talk to someone, and during your coaching session, we can definitely um, work with you and tell you how we can further support you. And um, that's what we do. That's, that's how we've helped all of our students how um, this, this truth that our, my teachings and, and our coaching programs are based on um, has 
is based on teachings and truth that have helped thousands of twin flames all over the world. We have personally helped hundreds so far. So definitely, um, definitely click the link. Get in touch with us. We are here to help. This is what we do. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Again, please submit your questions for Question of the Week. I will get to them in a future video, I promise. Have an amazing weekend, everyone, and lots of love.